So a lot of good ideas, you know, last, last video, a lot of good comments uh, about this item. Uh, one of the most pronounced or most common thing people said was that the concern of this thing not being linear. The, the higher the door goes, the harder the, it is for the fan to move the door. Which doesn't mean this thing is unusable, but it does mean that uh, as the fans start to produce more and more static pressure, it might get harder to tell the difference between the two just because the movement up top is so small. So we'll put this aside for the time being. It'll go back to the drawing board. I think I might go with something more standard, but when I do figure something out, I will let you know so we can take judgment on it. But I thought in the time being, why not just do another episode of season five, this time episode 10 of the Fan Showdown for everybody out there still designing fans. Oh my God, that's stuck. Well, it's that time of year again, at least if you're in the... Uh, in the northern hemisphere. It's getting cold. It's it's cold right now. It's it's actually snowing. Going outside is, uh, is a no-go. So I can't think of a better time to bust out your phone and jump into Raid Shadow Legends. It's kind of amazing to me as somebody that grew up playing something like Mario Smash Bros that you can have a game with this good of graphics with this much content just on your phone. Raid Shadow Legends is available on both mobile and PC with millions of players and over 80 million downloads. Sir Nicholas is a powerful HP based champion. He's a void legendary champion, so this means that he's already at the top of his tier. His skill multipliers let him hit hard while his secondary skills place valuable shields based on the damage dealt. Whirlim Frost King is another great void legendary champion. Whirlim Frost King is great for early to mid game players in need of someone to help in the arena. Oh, and it's uh, completely free. And if you're into collecting awesome characters and having a great gaming experience on your phone, Raid Shadow Legends is probably for you. Choose from over 800 unique champions from various factions with billions of ways to customize and build your champions. Raid Shadow Legends is constantly being updated and improved with new champions and content every single month. Fun fact, the holidays are right around the corner and Santa's got Raid Shadow Legends. The Cursed City is one of Raid's biggest features since the Doom Tower with over 100 stages, including one where you have to battle two Raid bosses at the same time. As you work your way through the Cursed City update, there are various quests you can complete and also get your hands on a mythical champion. With the link in the description below, you can obtain two epic champions, Lightsworn and Juliana, for free. If you haven't played Raid Shadow Legends, now's the time so you don't miss out on the Cursed City update. And make sure to use my link in the description below or scan my QR code to get a massive bonus only available through my link. So after you download Raid Shadow Legends using my link in the description below, make sure you join my clan and we'll be legends together. All right, well, there's no easing in on it today. We're gonna go right out of the gate, just max power. The first one we're gonna look at today is from Tom. You might remember Tom, he's the creator of the Dragon Wing. Now the Dragon Wing, it kind of just wrecked the, the whole fan showdown when it showed up. But after that video, Tom made a critical error. He went into the comment section. You done messed up, Tom! <laughs> and shots were fired. Some saying that increasing 6 DBA for only a 6% gain wasn't worth it. And others going as far as making DBA to FPM charts just to show which fan they thought was actually doing better. It was impressive. But as a response to that, Tom set out to try to create a fan that not only was quieter than the Dragon Wing, but also outperformed it. And given how well the Dragon Wing did in season seven, uh, it's gonna be a tall order. The fan he came up with was the Shredder, starting with a new loft or blade profile to combat laminar, laminar flow separation issues, and over six iterations later, with increasing blade sweep, the design ended up being far from what it originated as. Tom did say that he thinks the Dragonwing does still look better than the Shredder, but for the sake of noise and performance, we'll just have to... This is what we ended up with. Now I do admit, I think the Dragon Wing does look a lot better than the Shredder. I'm sure a lot of you guys all out there agree as well. Now, if the Shredder outperforms the Dragon Wing by an exceptional margin, I guess this is this is just what this is just what a good fan looks like nowadays. We'll have to wait and see. Next up, we have Eric and his fan, Razorwind. Eric said the name for his fan comes from the weapon in the game, or the N64 game, Turok 2, Seeds of Evil. Now I never played Turok 2 Seeds of Evil. Uh, I didn't have an N64 back then. I do remember playing Turok on somebody else's game and I thought it was super fun, but I don't remember this game or this weapon, but if you do, you probably recognize this fan. Eric says he's self-taught in Fusion 360 and has been developing this fan for some time. He says a few years now, and that's a lot. Now the fan has gone through a number of iterations and as things were tweaked, the final production fan or product of this fan is the Razor Wing, Razor Wind, you know which actually looks pretty darn good for your first ever 3D fan design. Eric said the main goal of this fan was to keep it light and the blade sharp, and we'll have to see how well that translates into 
performance. Now, don't you love it when, a, when an email starts like this? My name is blank. I bet you won't know how to pronounce it. Rude. I can pronounce anything now that we have AI text-to-speech models. Ferritin. Ferritin. I think, I'm pretty sure it's Ferritin. The, the robot told me Ferritin, so if it's wrong, it's the robot's fault. But, you know, if Ferritin's not how you pronounce it, it's gonna be embarrassing. Ferritin's fan is called Smoother. Now, Ferritin, other than saying his name is super hard to pronounce, didn't really give me much information about this fan. He just kind of sent it to me. Uh, the only thing I can gain, based on the title of the email, which said my first fan is this is either the first fan he ever sent to me or the first fan he ever designed or both. So that's all we gotta go on. That's it. I mean, it looks good, but mystery. Ferritin, 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 Ferritin. Now this last one I like, not because I think it's gonna do good. I kind of think it's gonna do horrible, but I love the idea. I love what it's designed from and I hope you all enjoyed as well. But before I tell you what it's called, which will give away what it's designed after, I'm gonna let you try to guess. This fan was designed by Michael and it looks like what it is. Maybe you know what that is. It'll probably help you if I give you a section view of this thing. This in fact is another bladeless design called the Hurricane. The internal sections of the fan are kind of like the rain bands of a hurricane. The hub's like the eye. The, the smooth top is like that dense cirrus overcast layer uh, above the hurricane. And this essentially is a tiny little hurricane as a fan with no blades. And I know what you're thinking. How, how is this gonna work at all? There's no blades, it's goofy. How does it, how's it gonna make air flow? And to that I would say centrifugal force, my dear Watson. Now this means this fan is gonna move air kind of opposite to what we're expecting. Like for example, the shredder in this fan right now would push air from this side to this side. However, when you mount, the hurricane in there, it's going to pull air or push air from this side to this side, pull air. Well, it's gonna do stuff, but the air is gonna go the opposite way, which means it's gonna be pulling air through the radiator, then through, basically it's gonna be pulling air from the far end of our wind tunnel, past the anemometer, through the radiator. Not ideal, it's not gonna be its best showing, but if it produces any numbers at all, it's a win. We'll have to keep an eye on it on the smoke test to see if it even works, but before that, let's have a listen. The smoother came in around 48.4 dBA. The Hurricane came in around 47. The Razor Wind came in around 47.9. And the Shredder came in at 47.5. So far, the Shredder isn't actually looking that bad. We don't know what its performance is thus yet, but we do know that it is quieter than, than the, the Dragon Wing. So if it does better in the actual performance testing, that might be it. Now I won't lie, when I was doing the smoke test and I had this guy on it, when I initially turned the fan on and just kind of felt around it, I was very surprised at how much air, it felt like this thing was moving. And then when I saw the smoke going through it, I was really impressed. Does that mean that translates into performance? I highly doubt it just on, just based on how this thing is pulling air through the anemometer, but we'll, we'll have to see. The Hurricane came in at 252 feet per minute of airflow. The Smoother, 348. The Razor Wind, 410. And the Shredder, 479. Placing the Shredder in first place, the Razor Wind in second, the Hurricane in third, and Smoother in fourth. And overall, they finished sixth, 19th, 39th, and 40th. Now, I have a question for you. Do you think this, do you think this is cool? Yes, it's, that's a rhetorical question. But I do have a real question. If you had two fans to choose from, the, the Shredder and the Dragon Wing, which we think looks cooler, this one's quieter, that one performs better, what do you choose? You have two, you have two fan choices, quieter but not as good, Louder, a little bit better, 
in your new PC case, are you going Shredder or are you going with Dragon Wing? I'd be interested to know what the most common answer to that question is in the comment section down below. Now, if you want to get in on the fan showdown, make sure to go into the description again and check out all the links I have down there. There's dimensions for the critical dimensions you need to hit for the fan model. There's information on where to send it. Essentially, I need you to send a .stp or .stl file to the fan showdown at gmail.com. I will print them out. I will test them for you and we'll all have a good time. Till next time. Oh, and don't forget to check out Raid Shadow Legends. Thank you for sponsoring today's video.